Traders Live podcast. All right. Good morning, Marto. How are you today? Good morning, Chugs. Good. How are you going? Yeah, good, mate. Good. Uh, yesterday, big day for a Monday for the ASX, as far as I'm concerned. Listen, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I was thinking it's going to be another meander along Monday, and we were pleasantly surprised. I was just not on the right side of that, but, uh, you know, it's a learning opportunity, I guess. And the big thing was, is there was no real economic news or anything like that. But what we did miss, and, and we didn't put this in the economic calendar, but yesterday was a full moon. That explains it all, mate. Yep. Yep. And as a Virgo, I personally don't believe in any of that, <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> No, mate. Um, talk us through yesterday's move. Talk us through. We closed uh, 52 points lower on the XJO 67 across the Aus 200. Talk us through where where that sort of lies in terms of data, Mondays, and statistical events, and things like that. Yeah, it, uh, mate. In hindsight, it kind of made a lot of sense into t- what I sent out uh, yesterday morning. But uh, I think it might have been a bit of confirmation bias between me and you, mate, when we said uh, yep. it was going to be a, um, a quiet, flat uh, drift down day. It, well, it, uh, it definitely drifted down, but a bit further than what we thought. But, um, yeah, I guess uh, putting in that, that kind of those parameters yesterday morning, we had a, a, a table of, I think, 40% um, probability of 30 or greater fall um, end of day. And I think it was a 70% probability of a 20 or greater fall um, end of day. So in hindsight, um, yeah, it was uh, combined with the full moon effect. Uh, that probably 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 drove it down. But um, yeah, I mean, we did mention yesterday that um, obviously the US was shut um, Thursday and then a half day Friday. So we kind of got that surge uh, when it opened back up. Um, I think it dropped 10 points in the first couple of hours. So obviously, um, if you're thinking, you know, behavioural psychology, everyone's trying to um, predict and and jump on the train where they thought the S and P was heading last night. So I'd say that kind of explains um, a lot of the move yesterday. Yep. And does any of the the risk off into the week sort of play into that? Where you know, sort of from I guess Wednesday through to Friday close, we've got a, some some pretty big uh, economic releases happening both domestically as well as you know. Um, in the US, does that play into that at all, or is is you know not really? Well, I think insofar as Mondays and Fridays, we're generally trying to preempt what uh, the week's going to do. So you've got people sure. positioning for the rest of the week. So um, you know when we when the US opens up and it drops ten points or whatever that equates to point three percent on open. Um, obviously, everyone's trying to. Uh, rush through the same gate um, to get ahead of where they kind of see um, the big markets going for the week. So I think that's what we saw yesterday. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm following very much so. Um, mate, moving on to last night, we saw the UK down at 27 points and the S&P down nine points. What does that mean for today's trading and what to expect in, in the Australian session today? Uh, mate, good question. Um, I mean, I think the S&P, the range was about 17 points, so it's really just a carryover from Thursday, Friday. It's, um, I think we're just waiting those kind of data releases later in the week. So yep. um, generally, uh, a big fall on Monday, we'd see some kind of rally back today um, in the Aussie, but um, yeah, we'll see on that one. Yeah, yeah, no, great. Mate, today we've got retail sales at 10.30. What are we expecting there just in terms of a bit of intraday volatility if it's uh, if it's an outlier number that's pre- presented to us? Yeah, mate, I do um, I do track retail sales, but I probably shouldn't yep. looking at the at the, the numbers because um, I think it's about 77% of those days finish single digits. So um, most likely we'll um, kind of finish back where we started um on retail sales days, I mean, it's yeah, it's just one of those things. It's a, it's a nice piece of data to have, but in terms of uh, how it actually affects the markets, um, history probably suggested it doesn't really move a great deal. Yep, yep. No, that's great. And just a quick reminder that Wednesday is probably where we kick off the economic data in terms of major moves for the week with our CPI at 1030 tomorrow. Uh, that's AEST. Uh, With that being said, that might do us for today. Happy trading, and I'll see you out there. Thanks, buddy. Speak soon.